With Nigerians' general elections drawing closer and the presidential poll to old February 25th, over 93 million citizens are expected to vote. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, 9.46 million people have been added to this year's figure. The cable speaks with those coming out for the very first time to vote to ascertain their level of readiness, excitement and expectations towards the forthcoming elections. My name is Samuel Champion Ayobami and I'm 19 years of age. My name is Ono Hamarachi Esther. I am 21 years old. My name is Manuel Moses Kadang. I'm 23 years old. My name is Ayo and I'm currently 18 years old. I feel very happy about voting, especially because this is my first time of voting, you understand? Well, I feel optimistic and enthusiastic as this is my first time voting, so I feel like it's going to be a very good opportunity for me to have a say in politics. I do not feel overly elated, but um, I do feel glad that I'm doing something that uh, every patriotic Nigerian is expected to do. So. Well, I do feel very elated, you know, for the past elections, I've always been giving just my opinions. I'm currently reaching the age where I can finally vote. I do feel, you know, a new feeling within me, a feeling of you can directly participate in what you've been talking about so far. Like I always say to my parents and my family because they are full blood and like most of them they are supporting Sinumbu. But for me, my reason is because I feel he's not so fit to be the president and I don't want the repeat, should I say, a repeated case of worry. So I feel if he was a younger Tinumbu, judging from past records, things like, of course we read history and everything, I would definitely vote for Tinumbu if he was a younger version of Tinumbu. But right now, I'm voting for Peter Obi for one reason, and it's because I want to make a statement that power still belongs to the people. So I want Peter Obi to win the election to make a statement that power belongs to the people. Like we can say this is who we want and the person we get into power. And I believe once that is done, at least there will be a change in Nigeria now. I have a preferred candidate, obviously, and who is um, Peter Obi. And he's my preferred candidate because I see a glimmer of hope. I see, I see change. I see reformation. I see transformation. Honestly, I see a new dawn in him, and that particularly influenced. It even influenced me to go get my my PVC. And because of that, I am very excited to vote. Well, based on the various campaigns of the political aspirant, I'll say that the preferential candidate for Miss Peter will be because I believe that APC and PDP have been in power for too long, and I believe that change will come with a different political party in power to so achieve Labour Party. Yes, I, I do have a preferred candidate. Um, that's Peter will be, and um, the things that influenced my decision to. But for Peter Obi is one for the first time. Um, there is a candidate that, that has combined two of the most important things that are, are needed for us to change um, election trends in Nigeria. So those two things are one, he is competent, and two, he has been able to uh, pull enough enough crowd, enough uh, buzz around this candidacy. Peter Obi of Liberal Party is my preferred candidate to vote for for the forthcoming election. My preferred candidate is Peter Obi of Liberal Party and what influenced my decision to vote for him is you know the advocacy and when you hear him talk he speaks with um, experience, he speaks with knowledge, he's president as well, he's passed, um, he's passed works as the governor of a number of states and um, he is, I feel he's lesser evil amongst the three major political candidates, Atiko, Tenebo and himself. Mm, well, I have before, but now I don't think I have. For now, maybe later, before I have, but now I don't.
yes i do believe my votes will count i do believe every vote cast um according to the requirements to cast the vote well vote will count so i, I believe um, people that sell the idea of votes don't count are people who are trying to suppress um voter turnout because i mean it will most likely favor them so yes i believe my vote will count and i'm going to cast it yes i think my vote will count obviously because the reason why everybody is campaigning is for votes right if my vote doesn't count then I am very sure that most of these leaders wouldn't even be, um, they wouldn't even care, you know, whether I go to vote or not. So, which is the reason why I'm very intentional about voting, because I know that my vote will definitely count. I believe it's real. Uh, I think my vote will count because I feel like it's obligated of every citizen to choose their leaders in every political campaign. So, and based on the fact that corruption and all makes people to have political apathy towards election, but that should not be an hindrance to people selecting their leaders. So, we shouldn't have the mindset of making our uh, thinking our votes will count. Mm, yes, definitely, my vote will count. Definitely, my vote will count. I mean, considering the stress I'll be going to to vote for that day, because. My polling unit is very far from my house, so I'm going to be going a very long distance to get there. So, considering the stress and everything, I do definitely think that my vote will count. I do really want to see him win. I know Peter will be, will be one vote short if I do not participate in this election, so that's why I'm going to vote for him. I know I've checked it. I know that my vote will definitely count and I am very excited about voting my particular candidate which is the reason behind me getting my PVC. Yes, I got my PVC because of P2B, P2B and I'm very proud to say that. Um, so I'm optimistic of the change in the infrastructure of the country. I'm motivated to vote one because there's also some, there's a competent person, two, person has gained enough momentum and three th there will be that um, free conscience that I tried my best uh, actually what motivated me to vote in this forthcoming election is because I'm tired of the bad government and Nigeria really needs a change <laughs>